Hello friends, this is Raman Gill with the weekly Forex market analysis for the week of June 19th, 2016. We'll start by taking a look at the economic calendar to see what news is coming out this week. Then we'll go to commitment of traders data to understand how the bigger players are positioned. And finally, we'll go into technical analysis and look at some charts. Looking at the Forex factory calendar here, it's fairly light on Monday. We have wholesale sales for Canadian dollar and then RBA assistant governor DeBell speaking for Australian dollar here. We also have Japanese monetary policy meeting minutes and Australian monetary policy meeting minutes. The market will be looking for indication on whether Australia is going to cut rates further this year or how they are viewing the market. That's why this will be very important for Australian dollar. Going into Tuesday here, we have German constitutional court ruling. This is important here for the euro. We also have German zoo economic sentiment number coming out for the euro. And into the U.S. session, we have Fetcher Yellen testifying as well. This shouldn't be a hugely market moving event because we have already had FOMC meeting and everything's already out on the table. However, if she says something that's different than what was said during the FOMC press conference, this could then have impact on the market. Going into Wednesday here, we have core retail sales number for Canada. And then Fed Chair Yellen is testifying again for two days here, Tuesday and Wednesday. We also have crude oil inventories and existing home sales for the U.S. Going into Thursday here, we have a lot of PMI numbers out of the Eurozone. And most important here is the EU membership vote. This is a referendum that the British will be voting on as to whether they want to stay in the European Union or not. So this is a major market moving event and we will have a lot of volatility in the markets leading up to this event. And also when the results come out, markets will be very, very volatile. Because of the big risk involved here, a lot of the brokers are actually dropping their leverage going into this. So this week is critical week for the British pound and the euro. So if you're trading any of these, please be very, very careful. And we will also have the impact will get translated into other currencies as well, into the commodity currencies, into the US dollar and Japanese yen as well. So be very mindful trading this week because there's a big event this week, which will create a lot of volatility, not only on Thursday, but also leading up to it. We also have unemployment numbers for the US dollar here on Thursday. Then going into Friday, we have German IFO business climate number and core durable goods orders. So overall, the Brexit or the EU membership vote here will be the main event for this week. And as a result, will create a lot of volatility. So be careful. Looking at commitment of traders data here, for euro us dollar we see that the short positions have increased a bit for the euro if you look at the green line here so leveraged positions shorts have gone from 64000 to 70000 which will be bearish for the euro for the british pound here we have seen that the short positions have been decreasing for the last little while and now we have seen the short positions decrease cut into half here from last week we went from 67.90 to 33.73 so this is bullish for the british pound looking at canadian dollar here we see that the leverage money long positions have increased slightly we've gone from 48.40 to 66.31 so this is bullish for canadian dollar as a result bearish for dollar cad for Aussie US dollar here, we have seen the short positions get decreased a bit. We have gone from 5100 short positions to 2666 short positions. So this is bullish for the Australian dollar. Looking at New Zealand US dollar here, we have seen the New Zealand long positions gone up. We have gone from 16,684 long positions last week to 21,771 long positions. So this is bullish for New Zealand dollar as well. For Japanese yen here, the leverage money long positions have almost double. We have gone from 26,000 to 46,739 long positions here. This is very bullish for Japanese yen. Moving on to the charts here, 
Looking at Euro US dollar weekly chart here, we did close the week with a bullish candle. We did see the price move down. However, it has closed up high. So based on this, we'll be looking for another bullish move to the upside. Looking at the daily chart here, we have finally broken through the range. Euro was trading in this range for quite some time. And now on the market open today on Sunday, the price has actually broken through. What we are seeing here is a lot of concerns around the Brexit scenario, whether UK will remain in European Union or not. So if UK does remain in European Union, that will be bullish for the euro and we will see the euro go up. Over the weekend, we have seen a poll that got released that shows that the people wanting to stay in the European Union are higher than those wanting to leave. So it is a bit of a close race at this moment. We're looking at 46% compared to 43%. So quite a close vote. Um, and going into this referendum, we will see more of these polls come out. And as a result of these polls, we will see market volatility. Anytime we see a poll that says the people wanting to remain in the European Union are higher the price jumps up both in euro and in the British pound. However, when we see poll that comes out that suggests that people wanting to exit the European Union are higher, we see a drop in uh, the British pound here and the euro um, as a result. So going into this event, going into Thursday, expect a lot of volatility. We may see sharp moves in the market as a result of that. So for now, we are looking at the next target here will be to the upside. This is this 1400 level. And once the price moves higher, we could see it go all the way up to the top here, 1600. So for this week, our ranges are quite broad. If we do see the vote for staying within the European Union, we could see the price jump up quite a bit. And if we see that the scenario where UK decides to leave the European Union, we should see a drop in the euro here as well. So for now, we will trade this as a range till it gets to Thursday, at which point we will see a break either below the range here at 1100 or above the range 1400, all the way up to 1600 and potentially higher. Moving on to the British pound here, we did see a big rejection for the pound and the week closed off quite bullish. At this point, we're looking for this to move up higher, potentially go and test this 4750 area. If we see the polls coming out showing that people who want to remain are higher, we will see the British pound push up as a result. However, if we do start seeing polls that suggest otherwise, then we'll see British pound move lower. Going into the referendum and as a result of the vote, we could actually see the price move higher and even into the 150 level after the referendum. And if the vote is to exit the European Union, we should see the British pound drop as a result. And we could see it come all the way down to 140 or even lower into the 130s level. So that's something we'll have to wait and see. Again, this week, if you don't need to trade, I recommend not trading these pairs, especially Euro and the British pound. One, the leverage has decreased a lot, so you could get a margin call a lot quicker. And secondly, there will be an immense amount of volatility, which is not good for us in terms of trading. Looking at the New Zealand dollar here, we had a spinning top for our weekly close. This is an indecision candle. We haven't been able to break above the previous week's high and we haven't really broken to the downside either. So very neutral close for the New Zealand dollar. And as a result here, we'll be looking for um, a move uh, within this range, 71.50 to 69.70 here. And once that range breaks to either side, we can take breakout trades. So a New Zealand dollar should also will also be impacted as a result of this Brexit or Bremen vote. So be mindful of that. Looking at the daily chart here, we see New Zealand holding this range. We have seen it sit in this range for quite some time between 7140 and 6960 or 50 here to the downside. Now we are looking for this range to break and so we can get some trading opportunities. However, for the time being, we could treat this as a range bound market and sell at the top and buy at the bottom unless we see the range breaking. And in that case, we will trade in the direction that the range is broken. 
Looking at Aussie US dollar here, we do see Aussie holding a range. It, we haven't been able to break above the previous high. It is bullish close on the week though, so we could see an upward move in Aussie. Looking at the daily chart here, we have seen the Aussie sit in this range for quite some time. So we need to see a break of the range. We are looking at 74.50 to the upside and then 72.80 to the downside as the range. So if we see a move back into 74.50 and we see a reversal patterns form, we could sell this. And if we see it come into the bottom here, 72.80, and we see reversal patterns showing that it's not willing to go the price is not willing to go beyond the range we can buy this and trade this as a range bound market looking at dollar cat here we did see a bullish close on the week however there was a big wick on top which suggests some bearishness here as well so going into this week we will look for price to hold above this 2650 level and see if we can see some follow through to the upside However, if we see the scenario of UK staying in the European Union, we may see this drop. So US dollar will get weaker and dollar CAD should get stronger. Looking at the daily chart here, we did see a steady move to the upside. However, it was not a very strong move. The candles are very, very small here. And on Thursday, we did see a big rejection here than a negative close on Friday. At this point, we have seen gaps in all the dollar crosses. And as a result, price is sitting right in the middle here. At this point, we would look for an upside of 29.70 and see if the price stays below that. And we'll treat this as a range bound market here as well for the last few days we have seen the price come down then go back up to get rejected at this point we're looking for a high of 29.70 and then low of here 26.50 and if the price goes up to test 29.70 and shows us a rejection there may be an opportunity to sell and at the bottom here 26.50 we would look for a price to stay above that however once the vote comes out all of this could go out the window and the results will be based on what scenario actually plays out. If we do see UK remain in the European Union, British pound, euro and all the different dollar crosses will go up. And if we see the Brexit scenario in that case, British pound should be highly impacted. However, other currencies will be impacted against the US dollar and we can see the US dollar go up as well. At this point, Japanese yen has been very strong and we could see more of that strength in Japanese yen as we lead up to the referendum. So that's it for now. I would like to invite you to join my trade room. The trade room runs every Tuesday to Thursday at 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Eastern. We trade the New York session. However, if you are not able to attend the live trade room, you also receive daily market analysis video where I talk about the levels to take trades from what direction we are expecting the market to go and what are some of the levels that we could potentially take trades from. As a bonus, you also receive my pivot point indicator to help you trade better. To access the trade room, please visit tradingwithvenus.com forward slash work with me. That's it for now. I will see you next time.